Was it Shawn Michaels, or are you talking about a match before his retirement against Shawn Michaels? At it was before. No, it was after Shawn Michaels. After Shawn. Oh yeah, so he came back to wrestle again. Yeah, no, I I don't know. But no, like it's wrestling like that that I understand that I kind of go like. Okay, Challenge the rules you are simple. Eight you just have to stay out. I, like, I understand him still trying to pull himself, but it's like, it's, it's new dogs now. It's new now. And the business is not the same like it was for his era. You know, like, it's a lot of good food, but they got to keep everything kind of... It sucks, but, you know, it's not the attitude anymore. It's the new dogs. It's the new dogs. It's the new dogs. It's the new dogs. Yeah, he, he now just worked behind the scenes as just by corporation. So, but Undertaker, that thing I like how he's doing it for NXT, he goes in there and he dresses these websites that are slowly becoming to the main rosters. But uh, I like how he's doing it for one of the people he's wrestling right now, trying to make like history for him, like, where Undertaker's not doing it like the food and stuff, he's doing it to help rise new stars. So, and the thing about Undertaker too, because he's been in so long for many generations, but his, his, the way he was so smart how he was able to go with each era and keep changing and adding more to his character, all that stuff. So, where you have to admit for the Rock and Stone Cold, that he just doing really work for them, because no matter what, they're always about the attitude there. Right? And that's just them. You can't change them about that. But Undertaker, somehow, some way, but you know, the dead man, he was able to transition to his world. Like, as an exact player, you know? he's done. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh man, dude. Yeah. That's why you see so cold, you know, no going like now. I, I mean, I could go back there, you know, just to, you know, like, to still have fun. I had that, you know, I can move back. Stepping stone for me now, where I can just come and go and you know, like, But it's still what my number one thing, but I just know I can't. I just accept that I can rest of the way I used to, you know? And obviously, I can't change how the pieces have changed. It's just. New fish, new fish to fry, is it? Yeah, I'll 
perfect stance like this. Let's go on his keys a lot, you know. But he still wants to catch his feet a little bit. Yeah, that's the first place bowling. I really like how he's all right there. Like, so he just bowling. I need to pick him from the wrong side. So, he and Howard kind of confirmed it on the set up right here. So, he's too far to the leader. You see Jesse and Jesse is just sitting there. Now, the ball place is just sitting down. He's sitting on the counter. The food is sitting right here next to me and I'm just kind of didn't think about it. I just said, that's what you need, Alfred? I think he really wanted me to play with him. It's like, felt bad that I injured myself. Here's like, your winner, BJ. He really wanted this one bad. Yeah, what a major win for him here. BJ. This is what it's all <laughs> you can tell it's <laughs> I asked him, like, what's your height? And then he goes like, I think he's 5'4", but he goes like, make me 5'6". I'm going to be 5'6". So, it's like, so I don't know if he's 5'6". No, he's like 5'2". 5'2". <laughs> <five two. laughs> he's funny. Oh, he, he's a, he loves sports, man. He's, he's, like, he's an athlete. Yeah, he is. He, I respect I told him, like, basketball. yeah, basketball, and he gets so into the volleyball, like, you know, like he, any other relative. He beat me, but I was wearing flip-flops, so. Oh, he, he kept going like, yeah, I didn't realize Uncle Jake, when when they were, when you picked them up at the Hawaii and you had him stay with you for a while, he was telling me that, yeah, you know, Uncle Jacob, he's your brother, right? It was like, yeah, he's the second one. Like, Why? Did, I heard you stayed with him. How, the, how was that? Well, we, we, he was really nice and he's a really funny guy. I go like, oh, yeah, he's a, he's a hoot. What, but what, did you guys play? Yeah, he had brought us to play volleyball and. I beat him, but then he came back and spiked me. I'm like, <laughs> I started laughing, going like, "Yeah, no, he." <laughs> uh, yeah, he was over here that one time with him and little Billy, and then it's like, "Oh God, they're they're so funny," especially him when he missed that spike, and then he just go like, ah! <laughs> and I'm just sitting there laughing, going like, <laughs> and 
that every time he tells me to spike and he sees that like I yes, I hate volleyball so much. But he goes like, What? You're doing good, Uncle. But like I didn't say it was that bad, but I'm I'm decent, but I just don't like volleyball. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting old and fat now. I can help you out of your under to your underwear, Jake, if you want. I mean, you probably might make submit me, but hopefully I don't last like just a second. Yeah, dude. just last like short of that guy. <laughs> His name's Cade. Diego Cade. Diego Cade? Yeah, but the nickname I gave him is Johnny Cade. Johnny Cade? Yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I created Tanner's daughter, by the way, for the first time, so... I showed her, and she, man, you should have seen them. And then I also created their son, Dom, Dominic. The, oh, that's that one. Yeah, the Dominator. And so. Who's yeah. the? Who's Bandit? That's that's Chenchen. Oh. Queen Bandit, and I still have to create Queen M. That's Chelsea, and then Charlie Primo. Yeah, I still have yeah, the, yeah. the Michigano family to create. Still, at this, I finally created Captain Cat. Uh, yeah, I showed her and she goes like, "Oh, I look gangster." It's like, yeah. <laughs> I tried to make her as close. She really likes that mask I gave her and all that. So I created my granddaughter. She's a Benazian. So Fiol, Victoria, Tessa, Terry, Laura, my buddy uh, that lives in. Seattle, over there. The twins, seven and four, that's Olivia and Jessica. <laughs> mm, no. Oh. Uh, see small kids? Yeah. They're, man, they're growing up, too. I'm like, holy snakes. Yeah, I, I forgot all about them at first, and then all of a sudden I just see them add me on Snapchat a while ago, and then it's like, oh, my God. Yeah, I remember you too. Look how grown up you guys are. And he's like, yeah, a long time, Uncle. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. And I tease him, going like how I ask every family, you guys staying out of trouble? Yeah, and they go probably like, not. And they go like this, like, the way both of them did that same, mm, yeah, I'm going, well, at least you're honest about it. <laughs> no, 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 it's like... I just sit there like, eh, I respect that you ain't lying about it. Most people lie and then they sit there and go like, nah, I never caused trouble. Everybody's at least caused trouble once in their life or even got into trouble on accident. So either way, we're huh? And as this match gets started, we're looking at an unflinching superstar. Really, really? She's been itching to get this fight started for quite some time now. <laughs> if she's bitten off more than she can shoot. I believe she's coming to this match with the exact attitude needed for the challenge. That much I wouldn't know, but at the same time, you think there was three whole game where I know it's not going to work. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match and is going to get chucked around like that. I would still have to see Ray Bono. Jacob Senpai made up a... Oh, boy. What a chuck. She's a... I think the first time I ever created like a like car a, a version of Zerum version of affairs. You know. Oh, it didn't go as planned that Oh you caught him off guard when he goes. Yeah, Jacob. This is Jacob Simpai. Jacob Simpai is our brother Jacob. Hey, do you have a Jacob? I was like, yeah. Jacob, Jacob Simpai? Yeah, Jacob Simpai. This is the reactor we're going, oh! And then we looked at him, and I told you, he's going to say something just off and go, and they go, you did. You did disappoint. <sighs> but that's pretty character, you know? <laughs> Creates character. Now, if you were always nice, then I'd think you're like, Doctor, there's no way that this has to be an illness. I don't sound weird. There has to be. Nobody could be this nice. 
They say that to me, and I go like this. Oh this is just nasty. It's like trying to get angry. Yet. I get angry when I feel like it. I just, yeah. You do no insult to anybody. You know, so you're pretending to be nice right now, but I'm not pretending to be nice. I'm nice because you guys are nice. Yeah, what are you doing, Ben? Don't give me a throw and tell me I didn't say it. Don't put words in my mouth. But he gets the third teaser. Knowing him, he's just got to speak his mind. He's like, yeah, you told me a story that you told me Jeremiah told me a story that you and Jeremiah were at the, uh, you know that story over there? Yeah, yeah, so we were over there. Or no, they were over there before I even worked with them at the time. And, you know, they always, at their job, at the time it was just them two. And so they were just... Oh no, Tanner was doing his cool thing, and Jeremiah just had to be driving along with him. And, uh, and Zorb was there, late, it was like late, obviously. That kind of guy was so cool. And when Tanner was done, apparently the other team, you know, Jeremiah was waiting by the bar, and then he just looks over, and all he sees is this group of guys that, that Tanner was playing against, but it didn't matter to him because he was winning. Yeah. So obviously it came down to trash talking and you know obviously probably drunk or something like that. But Danny, whether drunk or not, he's always been that person, speak his mind, you know, he ain't got bad problem, you know. So Jeremiah, what's he doing? He's just kinda like this at the at the bar and then he just kinda went like this and he like this. For some reason he's got a feel he just sits like this now, not toward the ground, but now he's kinda of sitting where his legs are outward, you know. He's just looking like this, taking a sip, and that's what happens as he turns to sit for a second, he's perfect way. You just seen how it all started with one of the guys that, because there was a lot of guys surrounding Tanner, and then the guy that was behind Tanner, from like this Tanner, back of the head, tried to grab him, Tanner just like turned around, you know, that gave Tanner the right to defend himself, you know, especially with the numbers. And so when Jeremiah seeing what was going down, how fast he just like put down his boots and ran over and now he had to him. And, and luckily the people, the bartender and the, the bouncer there, they knew, they, they knew Tanner and Jeremiah were not going to start it, but they, so they always had, they were, so every time Tanner and Jeremiah goes there, they always make sure that nobody's around them, because they know that the people just see them as a threat. <laughs> so they actually, there's some people that people want to pick up, you know. And of course, Daniel and Jeremiah are those, you know, individuals. So, and then when I came to work with them, it was like, here, here you have three of us, the people that don't care that go like this. And, you know, like, going, like, you talk about people like driving by, and like, you know how it is, you know, you just keep just driving. You know, trying to be like, see, you know, driving, so Daniel stops, you know, it's out of art. And it stops him, he gets off his feet, and the way his vehicle is speeding, and then stops him a little bit, and then he takes him up to But this guy, this guy looks at him, all three of us, and I was in the back. But for some reason, it's just weird how all three of us got this reaction to it. I came out, I came forward like this, and then he was going on, on his phone, and the guy was like, bang on the gun and shit, and then you see all three of us do this, or he, and I guess that guy did not. He was about to look at Tanner, but then he's seen all players also in two other games. He's just looking like a horse, so I guess he's going to see all three and all that piece of it. He kind of, the guy just like, going like this, and you clearly see him going... He's like, oh, he's like, 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 And the back kick. Yeah. 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 And you have to try and get the stick close enough to the wall so that way when they kick it in, it's tight when they do it. So I don't use all that BS. So <clears throat> I'm somehow hitting the baseboard, you know? 
And luckily, I can obviously all hold up here and it's going to go like, oh, yeah, man, you got it. That's all called down. I'm going to take that. In case they ask, just let them know who you are. They need to fix that. They need to fix it. Came back the next day, and then all of a sudden, the husband, the firefighter, he kind of starts off the morning for us going like this, like, yeah, my wife seen my base plates and she was not happy. But then he puts the guy kind of said somewhere, you know, yeah, we call Bob. And Bob, by the way, he's the guy that owns that floor to ceiling down there. And he's one of my business guys. But he's not our boss. We're all in contact with him, right? And the thing that comes from there, he just gets jobs there. He's just a few jobs. He's not going to always have like this college business card. But anyway, he called up Bob. And the guy thought that he should have seen how fast Tanner was coming. Like this, that he didn't allow us to get him. It's Bob that good. He's a salesman. I'm the contractor. And that's what he said. And then right there, the guy tried to talk smart to Tanner. And I'm like, what the hell? Just a bonus. Oh, so he's saying Bob's bad at his job? He's not a bad guy. 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 He's not a Bob was like this, yeah, I see it now, and so he kind of white, and the gets the white literally put sticky notes on each one, each of the baseboards that he hit. Yeah. You know, in both rooms, and he kept hanging with him, and that's the high room. You know, they let us know, like, yeah, I found one here, and he's like, of course we know where it is, where the ones are here. But anyway, like, we did, and we tried to be professional, 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 you know, when it comes to him, you know, I have so much respect for that guy. That guy, I just think that's all. So when the guy went to shake Dennis, here's me kind of sitting on the wall, and he goes, the guy went to shake mine, and I guess the guy kept asking Tanner these questions. You could see Tanner kind of getting frustrated, and now we have you kind of frustrated, you know. Because the guy did not just... Yeah, he just kept going, like, how are you going to do it? You know, is it going to work? Do you know how to do it? Like... I wouldn't, I wouldn't be doing this job if I didn't know it, is what Dan is trying to tell him, you know. I'm the contractor, I'll do it, I'll fix it, you know. And the guy kept asking me, how are you going to do it? And then he goes, well, I'm going to do it, I'm going to say it, and then he goes, I'm going to do it, 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 I'm going to And then Tanner just knew, like, he just went, like, you know, tried to talk to him, like, yeah, we'll see you later. And then the guy goes, <clears throat> walked right past me. I'm just going, like, I didn't mean to make you look bad there, but, uh-uh. <laughs> and Tanner goes, well, anyway, you're good, Doc, don't worry. And I'm just sitting there going, like, But no, and we brought it back to Tanner's place when we took those big clothes off and then we brought both doors to his house where we, because the carpet was getting thick, so we had to try and cut it where it's like loose enough, right? Yeah. And so uh, <clears throat> we did that.